Hey y'all, come on in. We fixing to cook these delicious collard greens. We gonna fry them. But first, I have to wash them and cut them. So now I'm just going through them for the first time. I rinse each leaf off. Uh, this is how I do mine. Then I pull it off the stem, just peach and pull, just like that. Go front and back. So I'm going to get these done and I'll be back. And now that I have them all off the stem, I add them to my sink with cold water. Now I add some salt to my water. I wash them in a bath of salt and baking soda. I turn them over. Then I'm going to rinse them again from this wall. Okay, y'all, now that they're nice and clean, I take them and make me a stack, many as you like, but you don't have to worry about them being the right size or shape or nothing because you're going to fold them up. So it don't matter, and I just do it just like that. Get as many as you want. This roll now ordinarily I would make my stacks a little bit larger, but I'm just gonna and cut them the width you like it. We like them small and little ribbons. Some people like them large, but that's just like that. Now, of course, you don't have to have yours this small. Now, I do not wash my greens after I cut them. That's why I wash them so many times before I cut them. I wash them about four, sometimes five, depending on how dirty they are. Times before I cut them, after I cut them, I do not wash them. But you do yours like you want to do. I'm going to get the rest of these cut up and be back. Okay, now let's get some seasoning for our collard greens. And I'm going to use this pound of low-sodium bacon. Uh, I'm going to use an onion, uh, some onion powder, crushed red pepper, ground uh, black pepper, and some homemade pepper sauce. Now, first, I'm going to render the fat from this bacon. So let me get it cut up first. And then I'll be back with that. Oh, I got to get a sharp knife, too. Okay, I got my bacon all cut up. It looked like a lot, but of course, you know, this is going to cook down. So let's get them to turn y'all around. Get you over here into the boiler. Okay, let's get our bacon down. This is what's gonna make it good. Yeah, I know bacon and butter makes everything better. Bacon, butter, better. Yes, indeed. Like I said, this might look like a lot of bacon, but it's really not the amount of uh, collard greens I have, and it's going to cook down. It's going to cook down. And I got it on a pretty high right now just to get it going. So now let's get over here and cut us some onion. 
I have one medium white onion, and I'm going to use the whole thing. Now, if you don't like onion, leave it out. Now that my bacon is rendered a little bit and it's been it, it's began to give me some of that good juices and flavor. Now let's just add our whole white onion. Mm-hmm. And I got it on low because I want it to slowly cook. Man, and it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Ugh. Mm-hmm. It looks good. I could eat just that right there. Okay, my bacon and onions. My onions are translucent, uh, and my bacon has rendered me some fat, not much, so uh, I, I'm going to uh, add a little bacon grease, but I have a nice bed of bacon and onions to sit my greens on, just like that. Now, let me get my chicken bouillon. One tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Half a tablespoon of onion powder. flakes of red pepper, just a few. It's optional, you can leave them out. A little black pepper, just a little. And yes, I do put a little sugar my drink. Just a sprinkle. I said that was about a tablespoon of food. And some homemade pepper salt. You can leave that out too if you like. But I guarantee you Everything, y'all. When I tell you, this is smelling amazing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Wait a minute, I'm gonna get me a bigger spoon. Okay, guys, I got them all mixed up. And I'm gonna let these continue to cook. And they own juice. They it, they are already good. Oh my goodness. The season of it is amazing. So I'm going to put a lid on them. I got them on like a two, three. So yeah. Y'all stick around for the finished product. And y'all, this is how meat we have it. With them collard greens. Bow be showing out on the grill. Yes, he have. With these beef ribs. Yes, he have. You pass them away. Good. And these connect the sauce. I'm finna make this mac and cheese. And it's gonna be a good time. 
love, peace, and blessings. Y'all leave it in the comment what you think. Bye-bye.